Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here with you from HolsingerSplyShop.com. Uh, today bringing you another pattern. This time I'm bringing you the Vladi Worm. Uh, I have a Chewy Worm that you've seen me tie before. I get a lot of requests to tie that um, for customers, you know, for custom orders and stuff like that. And uh, I'm giving you another option on how to tie that in this video. This is the way the pattern was originally created. Um, what I'm using is a size 8, or sorry, a size 10, 1870 Daiichi Swimming Nymph Hook. For the lead, it's just the flat lead wire that we sell in the shop. Um, I take that lead wire and I cut it into three strips. It comes, I think, a quarter inch wide and I cut it into three, three strips to cut the thickness of it, the width of it down so it wraps on the hook a little bit easier. And then uh, what you're going to do, you're going to start back here, away from the bend of the hook, like, oh, above the barb. We're going to start and we're going to wrap up towards the eye. And then we're going to make another layer. So we're going to try to build a hump here. Um, this is the way the pattern, the way I'm going to show it to you today is close to the way the pattern was originated. I'm going to do one thing a little bit differently than the original pattern. Um... Or, I, I'm not sure how I want to call it, a lack of wanting to go and research condoms, I guess you would say. Um, the original pattern is tied with a pink condom. Uh, I'm just going to cheat on that, use a clear condom, and under wrap it with uh, pink Antron. So I get the color, I can achieve the color I want, but... Don't have to spend the time hunting for a pink condom. Um, I, you saw I built that up two layers. I'm going to build it up three layers, and each layer gets progressively shorter to make a hump. And I want the hump to be more towards the back. And I'm just going to wrap that on there. And this stuff's easy to break. You just break it with your fingernail. And then you can take your fingernail and smooth it out. It's real easy to work with. That's why I like this lead wire. Now I'm going to take some red thread. And another reason I'm going to use the Antron. I'm going to wrap this lead wire down with the thread just to hold it in place. But um, another reason I'm using the Antron, it would take a lot of thread and a lot of time for me to sit here and cover that hook, wrapping it back and forth and getting it completely red to get that red to shine through. So I'm going to cheat and save some time by wrapping some red Antron on, or pink Antron. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use is a size, or an 8 pound test chameleon leader. This is just Maxima chameleon leader. This is the stuff that I use to make my leaders out of. Uh, just leader material. The chameleon color, which is brown, this is going to put the rib on the, on the fly for me. So I'm just going to wrap it down. Okay, and back to the bend of the hook there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a condom. And what I'm going to do, I'll back out here a little bit so you can see. Just to take this condom. Okay, it was round. What I did was, get this focused a little bit better there. What I did was just cut a strip out of the condom, as you can see. You know, it was together there. I just cut a strip and then another strip to make a strip out of the condom. And then I unrolled it all so you have a nice long piece of latex, okay? This latex is what we're going to wrap around to make the body of this fly. There we go. Now, I'm going to take my pink Antron yarn next to get the undercolor of the fly here because this will show right through that clear, clear condom. This is a very, very, very popular Czech nymphing pattern. Um, <clears throat> the condom, I think, will have a little bit longer shelf life than the Chewy Skin. The Chewy Skin is a product, when it's exposed to light for any period of time, it will deteriorate. Um, I like the looks of the finished product of the Chewy Skin, but if you don't use any kind of sealer like a UV glue or... Head cement or something like that over top of the chewy skin, 
it has no shelf life at all in your fly box. So the condom, I think, will last a little bit longer. But then again, it wouldn't even hurt to put a layer of sealant over top of the condom. Okay, now that I got my Antron down, my ribbing down, I need to wrap my condom on. I feel like I'm saying the word condom way too many times in this video. Just gonna make a, just gonna cut a thinner piece to tie it down here at the end. Okay, and then we're just gonna wrap this, tie this down. Tie it back to the bend. Okay. And then wrap this up to the end here. Oh, the first thing we're going to put on is our Antron yarn. And wrap it on to get our under the color that's going to shine through here for us. And uh, you could do this in white if you want. I know I just tied an order for a guy who wanted uh, white chewy worms. I used clear chewy skin and wrap under the white antron underneath it to get the clear color like a millworm or something turned out really really nice so you're just gonna wrap this up all the way up to the front and then when we get it up here we'll tie it off you can see this is already getting to look like a a good fish color fish catching lure okay, make a couple wraps there, tie that off trim that, I'm just going to clean that up a hair okay now we're going to wrap our condom up okay. string hanging there Okay, now we're just gonna wrap this forward, cover and all. Oops, keeping it tight, covering the whole thing, front to back. <sighs> One thing about using the condom, it's a little slippy. It slips out of your hands easy. Okay, you do a little bit of research on the Velotti worm, you're going to see that it was originally tied in the, with the pink latex. You're, you're seeing right here on this fly, you're, you've achieved the same thing without having to search for the pink latex. You can just use a any old generic condom. Okay, we're going to trim off our end there. Now we're going to come in and we're going to rib this with our leader material and uh, also sealing it will help you know you catch a couple fish it'll help keep these ribs in the same place <clears throat> you, you got a couple fish on it it'll help protect the latex too the teeth on the fish We'll just tie this off. Cover that up and trim it. And we're just gonna come in and tidy up that head. And put a nice whip finish on it. Oops. and that is all that's to tying the Velotti worm it's a really really simple fly um, one thing I've heard from one of my customers that they were told the way to fish this is with two of them on the leader what you want to do is you want to have they're very heavily weighted okay you want one as your bottom fly as your anchor your anchor fly then you want one about eight inches above it and this is the fit the one that's going to catch the, the fish 
the one that's about eight inches above it. If you think about it, the bottom fly is going to be bouncing off the bottom. The top one, eight inches above it, is going to be right in the fish's eye level. It's right where, right in its strike zone. So um, this is. I haven't got to fish this yet. I'm going to get out and try it here over this week. Try and fishing it with the leader setup that he said. Uh, really simple fly. Really easy to tie. Not a lot of material in it. All but the condom you can find at a whole singer's fly shop. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube videos and like us on Facebook. Uh, we really, really enjoy making these videos for you and thank you for watching them. And please check us out at our website, wholesingersflyshop.com, for all your fly fishing needs. Thanks again for watching.